Make a 7.5mm f2.8 fisheye lens review. I haven't had so much fun with a lens in a while. Sometimes you need to have a bit of fun even when it comes to photography. It is a good way to relax or get out of an uninspired period in your photography. And man do I love this lens on the X-T5. And this lens isn't just fun, it managed to surprise me with two things. One is related to build quality and one to image quality. I think my X-T5 was surprised as well. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Andre Dima. I am a professional travel photographer and video maker and I run this Fujifilm channel. So if you want to see more Fujifilm content, subscribe and ring the bell for notifications. Ok, now let's start with build quality and the first thing that surprised me, this lens has an aperture ring with clicks between stops. Hooray Fujifilm users! I love aperture rings with clicks and I know most of you do too. And it was a nice surprise to see a lens like this having this type of an aperture ring. The lens has a nice black finish with engraved markings. It feels very nice in hand and very durable. The lens is made from metal, it is fully manual, so it doesn't have any electronic contacts. That means you will not get any EXIF data. The lens mount is metal and it is not weather sealed. Now that I think about it, I haven't seen a lens without a metal mount in a while. I like that this lens is pretty compact and light, it weighs only 260 grams, fits nicely on my X-T5 and X-E4. One thing I don't like about this lens is the lens cap. Every time I get the camera with the lens out of the backpack, it falls in. Maybe this is just my copy. The focus ring turns smoothly and it is very easy to use and achieve perfect focus with. The minimum focus distance is 15 cm and the lens structure is 11 elements in 9 groups. And now to the second thing that surprised me, and that is center sharpness at f2.8. Even on the Fujifilm X-T5, the X-T5 has a very demanding 40 megapixel sensor. The density of pixels on this sensor is going to show how good the lens really is. And when I looked for the first time at a photo taken with this lens at f2.8, I was blown away and could not believe a lens that costs only $129 can give you so much details. Just look at this photo here, the amount of detail and contrast you get in the center at f2.8 is amazing for a lens like this. When you stop it down to f4 or f5.6 the center improves just a bit. The place you see a difference is the corners. Yes, the corners are a bit soft at f2.8, but stopping down improves them quickly. So at f5.6 and f8 you get great image quality and contrast. Also my favorite effect in lenses, sun stars. They are not the nicest sun stars, but they look good enough. With an aperture of f2.8 and the camera with IBIS, this lens can give you some amazing interior architecture photos. The lens has a built-in lens hood, but this is a fisheye lens, so you are going to get some flare in your photos or footage. Speaking about footage, this lens can be used for video if you want some different results or to vlog. The minimum focus distance is 15 cm, pretty good, and you get good results starting with f2.8. Stop down to f4 for the best performance. I didn't see any chromatic aberrations, even if it has some, with such a wide angle is going to be hard to notice them in your photos. Overall, this is maybe the best fisheye lens I tested so far. If you like fisheye lenses and you want to use it on a 40 megapixel camera, well this is the one to get. It is nicely built, it has an aperture ring with clicks, the focus ring is so nice to use, yes the lens cap is a bit annoying but you can fix that with some duct tape. As I said the image quality is just great, all of these at the great price of $129. Meka did a great job with this compact fisheye lens. So if you are looking for a lens like this, I highly recommend the Meka 7.5mm f2.8 fisheye lens. 
If this video was helpful, please subscribe, like and use the links in the description to support the channel. Also, check out my presets pack. See you next time.